Recording a macro. We create a macro in Excel by recording the steps of a repetitive task so that we can do the task again with a single click. After we create a macro, we can assign it to an object on our spreadsheet, such as an icon on a ribbon, a graphic or a control, so that we can run the macro by clicking the object. If we no longer use or need a macro, we can delete it. So let's look at recording a simple macro. To begin, we need to go up into the View tab. From the View tab, at the very end of this ribbon, you will see the word Macros, and you can either view the macros that you have already, or you can record one. So we're going to choose the option Record Macro. The first thing we need to do is to give the macro a name. I have a habit of putting MAC in front of all of my macro names. Although you don't need to do this, it's a good idea to get into the habit of doing so that if you do at a later point move into Visual Basic, you will be into this kind of mode of naming already. So I'm going to call this MAC and then the name of the macro I'm going to put in as headings because this is a macro that's going to put headings at the top of a sheet for me. For the moment, we're going to store the macro in this workbook. That means that it will work while this workbook is open. If I want to, I can go in and put in a description. So for example, enters headings into spreadsheet. So now, as soon as I press the OK button, it's going to be recording. So I'm going to record myself typing in the word months, pressing return, typing in the word Jan, and dragging it as far as December. I'm then going to go into the Home tab to center and make bold my headings, and then I'm going to highlight the heading Months, drag across as far as L1, and Merge and Center, and then click to finalize in A3. So now I'm finished recording, I'm going to come down to click on the Stop button. This is located down on the status bar, so if I click on that, it now stops recording my macro. So to begin the record, we went into the View tab, click on the drop down to record the macro, complete the steps, and then down on the bottom of your screen, we click on the square that will be there when you're recording to stop the recording. So that is how you record a simple macro.